Skyrocketing costs of food and gas are leaving some voters, a lot of voters, less optimistic about their current leadership. According to a new Fox News poll on congressional vote preference, Republican candidates have a 7 percent lead compared to their Democratic counterparts. California GOP Chair Jessica Milan Patterson joins us now to talk more about this recent survey and what that could mean for the upcoming midterms. Uh, great to see you. Uh, always uh, a pleasure to talk to you, Jessica. Uh, so Thanks, tell us Logan, a little bit. Too. Yeah, tell us a little bit more about this. What we're learning. Yeah, we see that 67 percent of Americans believe that that inflation is going to play a major role in this election in November 2022, and 67 percent believe that Joe Biden has handled this really poorly. Um, they disapprove of the way that he's handled this. We saw this in a, another poll a few days ago uh, where they said 68 percent believe that he has handled inflation very poorly. California Democrats have probably led the nation in bad choices when it comes to policy. When we look at the top issues for Californians, whether it's housing costs or the increase in crime or gas prices or homelessness, we've seen failures on Democrat policies and California Republicans are here to offer solutions. What about gas prices and this idea that they still are unwilling to give us that gas tax holiday that, that has really been presented so many times by, by, by Republican leaders um, trying, trying to get us 51 cents off each gallon, but, but, but the Democrats seem to not be, be buying that here in California? It gets worse than that, Logan. Not only will California Democrats not join California Republicans, Republicans in a very simple solution in a gas tax holiday, even Democrats in New York agreed to a gas tax holiday. This isn't something that's, you know, some far out of, out of the left field type of idea, but they can't get behind a single idea when it comes to getting California, California drivers a rebate. Uh, we still don't see anything on the horizon from them and certainly no agreement. But when I say it gets worse, I truly mean it gets worse. California Democrats over the weekend let the clock run out on what on the time that was necessary for them to suspend the gas tax increase coming in July. So not only will they not give us a gas tax holiday on the taxes that they're already collecting from us, but they're going to raise the taxes on us again come July. It's really uh, unbelievable what they're doing to California taxpayers. Let's talk about the state's population uh, because it fell for the second straight year. Uh, I mean, a lot of people are leaving the state of California. It's just too expensive. They just, a lot of them don't like the politics. What do you think about this? Yeah, it's no longer a place where you're willing to put up with a lot of stuff because of great weather. Um, only 24% of Californians can afford to be homeowners right now. And this is just a really sad state of affairs and people are just voting, they're voting with their feet. They're leaving to states like Texas, Idaho, Florida, um, places where they have much more friendly and uh, cost effective uh, ways to, to live that American dream. For the first time in our state's history with the last reapportionment, California lost a congressional seat. Um, and this is due to California Democrats policies. If we had the same type of uh, leadership that we had, you know, a couple decades ago, um, I think we'd be seeing a very different California right now. Unfortunately, California Democrats have made it very difficult for the middle class to get ahead here. Um, therefore, they, they are putting forth policies for the incredibly rich um, or the incredibly poor to stay here. So with the upcoming elections, what do Republicans need to do in order to try to gain some seats? We need to continue to bring our message out of solutions. Um, in the next few days, you're probably going to see a rollout of the California Promise, um, where we talk about the solutions that California Republicans are bringing to the table. It's not enough to say that California Democrats are failing. We know the sky is blue. What we need to make sure we're doing is talking to people about the real ways that California Republicans can bring solutions to their everyday problems that quite frankly, California Democrats have created. Jessica Milan Patterson joining us uh, with some uh, interesting points of view. Uh, Jessica, always great to see you. Thanks so much. You too. Thanks, Logan. Okay.